हॅलो एव्हरीबडी आय एम डॉक्टर खरादी मुदस्सर वर्किंग ॲज अ कन्सल्टंट न्यूरोलॉजिस्ट अँड इपिलेप्टोलॉजिस्ट पुणे सह्याद्री हॉस्पिटल टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सिझर अँड इपिलेप्सी सो मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल दे डोंट नो व्हॉट इज द डिफरन्स बिट्वीन सिझर अँड इपिलेप्सी सो सिझर इज अँड वन टाइम सिंगल इव्हेंट हाऊ एव्हर इपिलेप्सी मीन्स अ मेडिकल कंडिशन वेअर पेशंट गेट रिकरंट एपिसोड्स ऑफ मल्टिपल एपिसोड्स ऑफ सिझर्स without any obvious factors so what happens during seizure so during seizures patient gets an abnormal and excessive electrical activity in their brain cells called neurons so most of the our brain cells is consist of neurons which are interconnected with each other called as a synapses whenever there is an excessive electrical activity then brain gets malfunctioning in the form of either patient can develop acute confusion or behavioral abnormality or they can have violent jerking so what we call them as a seizure so what happens during seizures so during seizures patient can develop acute confusion behavioral abnormalities or at times they keep on doing ongoing activity without their knowledge at times they keep doing achieving movements or hand pricking movements without their knowledge few patient sometimes they get aura in the form of either abnormal sensation arising from their stomach or hearing some abnormal sound or at times some tingling sensation over one or either limb at times few patient they get direct violent jerking without any an aura so most of the people ask us what are the types of seizures so there are broadly we classified them as focal onset seizures generalized onset seizures or unknown onset seizure in focal onset seizure it start from one focal area of the brain however in generalized onset the seizure originated from entire brain simultaneously in unknown onset we don't know from where it is arising most of the people ask us what are the causes of seizures or epilepsy so the causes of seizure varies from given age group of the patient in early age group because of birth trauma genetic abnormalities or metabolic disorders children can develop seizures in age group of 6 months to 5 years because of the high grade fever they can have seizures we call them as a febrile seizures as the age grows up because of birth trauma or excessive use of alcohol or drug illicit can produce seizures in elderly group of population because of stroke or brain tumor they can develop seizure or epilepsy in future so how can we prevent seizures yes taking good diet adequate sleep doing regular exercise taking medications on time as well as avoiding excessive use of alcohol avoiding stress we can prevent seizures in few patient because of flashing of the light or excessive use of mobile can produce seizure so avoiding such activity can prevent seizure usually it is a misconception or myth about epilepsy that it happens because of some supernatural power or somebody's curse now in science it has proved that it is not because of any supernatural power it is because of the malfunction of the brain cells neurons it is not an social stigma seizure patient can live normal life as other individuals there were great personalities who used to have epilepsy but they have done well in their life like alfred nobel alexander the great as well as isaac newton so most of the patient ask us how long to take treatment so for the given individual and based on the types of epilepsy we treat them for the different duration of period some patient we treat them for few weeks to other patient we treat them for 1 to 3 years or few group of population of patient they require life long treatment if it is not getting control with a single medicine we try to give two or more medicine to control seizure 
the aim of treating epilepsy patient is to con first is to control their seizures second is with minimum or no side effect and third is they should live the individual normal life they should live the normal life as other individuals now we will discuss about how to diagnose and treat epilepsy for diagnosis of epilepsy we take clinical history thorough clinical examination followed by routine blood investigations and electroencephalogram that is eeg of brain video eeg or mri brain epilepsy protocol some patient may also require pet ct or respect of the brain yes we all together can treat epilepsy patient now in this advanced area with the help of multiple modalities we can treat epilepsy patient more than 70% of the patient can be treated with medicines with the help of either single or combination of two or more medicine we can try to treat epilepsy patient however remaining 20 to 30% of the patient where even with adding multiple drugs combination it's very difficult to make them seizure free in such patient we do pre surgical evaluation in the form of video eeg mri brain epilepsy protocol or in some patient pet ct brain the basic idea of this investigation is to find out the seizure origin what we call them as a utpanna bindu or kendriya center in such patient once we found the origin of the seizure and with the help of surgical modalities we can treat them in the form of either we can resect them ablate them or we can disconnect them from normal brain so that to make them seizure free now in this advanced era with the help of newer technologies and multi modalities and good epilepsy surgeon we can treat epilepsy patient if you have any doubt please contact us or write us in comment box thank you